See, you you really caught me on a point which is it's really a sad place, you know, because um, to put it simply, if they set out to buy a information management or decision support system. They probably even pay money for it. Maybe not my product, maybe a competitor product. They are paying that much money for it, okay? But then they end up using it as a normal reporting or MIS system. Okay, so that is the problem that uh, the, the domain has to understand and uh, it, uh, the middle management or slightly higher than middle management are the people who should be, you know, pushing the cause for, you know, probably one, see the probably the reason why it's not even that much operation is because we never really faced tough times in the last few years. Unlike countries abroad, you know, where they had to get very imaginative and creative to just be afloat. So that's why probably we are so much in good times that uh, we are not craving for digging in and finding in ins insights okay and uh, and even if you're digging in they dig in more to see if there are any frauds or things like that no things might not be fraudulent but there's still always scope for uh, improvement and uh, bettering and so on like for example um, i'll give an example we did this uh, for a retailer not in india uh, in the uh, americas region okay and this was the merchandising that is buying function okay now in this buying function, how it is, is in, in retailers there are buyers who are responsible for buying a certain um, set of uh, merchandise. So these people had, it's a big company, so they had 200 to 300 buyers. Despite having that, we saw that there were a lot of buying happening, which was not by a specific buyer, which was by an organization policy or something, Okay, like pro some common products. And all. We had a very nice observation, where there were particular buyers the average discount negotiated per purchase order was 25 to 30% more on the purchase order value as compared to a, a orphan uh, purchase order. So this was, we showed them, we showed them that process wise it's important that all purchase orders have buyers and it makes sense because when somebody owns this particular purchase order and he is sitting and negotiating, he is going to negotiate a better term, better price, some discount, maybe a freebie. So, these are the kind of insights. So, there was no fraud happening here. Okay, it's just that, you know, how much percentage you give ownership. So, these are the kind of uh, insights that uh, another particular thing we saw was, um, there was this particular, they buy from FMCG companies. Okay, and these are two neighboring American countries. They were buying from FMCG company in country A and country B. Okay, and not too much of uh, import and all that in that region, No, not much duties. So, if you buy the same product from the next country, it is about 18 to 20 percent cheaper. Okay. So, for their border areas, it makes sense for them to buy from that dealer, that, that geography more. So, these are the kind of insights that can really come out by looking at the data from a different perspective. So, one is purchasing the tool and putting it in place and another is, um, you know, trying to get really knowledge out of that particular bit. So these are the kind of values that are promised while the sale is being made by us or by any company. But whether that is really realized, it is totally dependent on the organization that is using. If they are still happy with automating their present day reports, well, all the best. <laughs>